Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the format and how you can easily start working uh, sketching in format. I will show you the some uh, really main uh, features which is you can use uh, before you will start working in the format. I will introduce you today these the things what you should do before you will start working in the format. Let's get started. First thing, when you will open your format, you should uh, prepare your uh, the units because right now you can see here is the meters. But some of the people uh, prefer working in the inches, some of the people prefer working in the millimeters, and where you can find it. Actually, it's uh, uh, the easiest thing. You should go to the settings, and you will find the units here, and you can easily change it to the metric or to the as you can see metric millimeters, or you can go to the more uh, shortcuts, and you will find all the things here for example under the units and the precisions and you can uh, change it right right here because when i just opened my uh, first time i when, when i was opened my format it was the everything in the inches and that's why uh, i trying to uh, show you why you can change it the second thing this is location so when you're starting to creating your project, you need the site location. You have the two ways how you can get the site location. You can download it from the external uh, resources, uh, web services, uh, doesn't matter, or you can use the format. You need just go to the location here or the shortcut SL. Uh, let's use the location. After that, uh, the format is starting opening the uh, Google Maps. And after that, you should go to the uh, your location. Let's use, for example, I will use the Moscow, why not? And here I wanna choose, for example, this location. After that, you just need the import uh, images of the terrain and terrain. Um, depends of the cities, depends the, of the countries you, you, uh, you are using for. Uh, some of the terrains, uh, for example, for the Moscow, we not will load any terrains. But from the some Europe country, from the USA, like uh, Canada, you will get the terrain from the uh, maps. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, here is the my Moscow, here is the part which is I want to import. And I just need click here, finish importing. Once you will click on that, you will get, as you can see here, I get my uh, my satellite images and also I get the terrain. But as I said, for the Moscow, we will get the something like flat one. I will show you a way you can find it. You just going here to the layers and you will find it here because uh, the by default it's switching off. Let's switching on. The other thing, where is my north? Because I cannot see here the north, where is that? Uh, sometimes it's really hard to understand where is the north uh, and we need the, here the symbol of that. You will find it um, uh, under the visual graphics, so we should go to the visual graphics. Uh, let me will find it, it's here uh, by these glasses. And here under this uh, environment you will find the north arrow. Once you will select it uh, on, you will get your north arrow. Once now, you, when you rotating, you directly see where is your north. Because sometimes, well, for example, you downloading your map like that, and you not directly understand where is your north. That's why you need the north arrow. And also here, you can switch it off the grid. For example, you can switch it off or on the axis. Uh, you can add the levels and of course uh, you can uh, manipulate with the some era environment colors like a sky for example here is the blue we can just unswitch it off and the ground plane also we can do the work with the ground plane all the visual graphics and the visual style you will find here under the visual styles uh, the tab When you're working with your building, when you're starting to uh, create your building, first of thing what you need, you need analysis. And uh, first of all, you need the surrounding buildings, like existing buildings. Because right now we have the map and uh, we should create it manually. But this is not our way. We want import information from the internet about the buildings. So what we can do? Uh, in the format we have the plugins which is like in the SketchUp, we can download it uh, and uh, switch it on or switch it, switch it off. Uh, plugins you will find here by this one, you can just click on that and you will see all the plugins here. Or if you don't have this step, go to the window and here the, just find the plugins and just switch it on here, the plugin manager. Uh, once you will uh, switch it off, as you can see it's gone, once I switch it off on, it's here. 
uh, go to the plugins and here you will find the 3D context creator. Right now, as you can see, I already installed it. Let me have un un uninstall and as you can see, the one icon is gone. Now I will install it, just click on here and now I get one more icon. So what this icon doing? As you can see, here is the radius from the our uh, existing point. So our existing point exactly on the middle. For example, I want to get all the buildings around, so surround buildings around uh, like 900 meters around this dot. Just click on that. This is warning, it's okay, because uh, this is warning showing us we should wait like more than five, uh, 25 seconds. Let's wait. And here we're back. Actually, it's taking like more than one minute. But as you can see, let me I will switch it off my terrain. We can see exactly how uh, we get the building for, from this uh, from this terrain. I mean the, from this location, but I want to switch it off because uh, uh, when you have the volume of the, your terrain, as you can see, some buildings is gone because actually some buildings under this terrain. Yeah, this is one of the baddest thing. But anyway, anyway, as you can see, we get all the surrounding buildings. Now we can work much easiest with the, for example, analysis. Now we can uh, easily play, place our building and see what's going on, uh, what's going on around this building. And one of the nice things, uh, which is I already showed in the previous tutorial, this is solar analysis. Now you just can go to the sun, here you can switch it on, for example, the shadows, and you can click on the solar analysis. Uh, it will take a bit of time. Once it will finish, now you need just select your uh, your surface. Right now we don't have the surface, we should create it. Let me will create it, it will take uh, like a few seconds. You just need, need go here. Uh, for example, we will use the mm, quad one and I will create it here. For example, here is my will be train. Why not? Now I'm going back to the my surface. Uh, I'm in the solar analysis. I will select the my surface and I will analyze this surface. And here we are. Here is my analysis, as you can see. So just a few clicks and we already get our analysis. We already get our models, our surrounding buildings. So this is really cool. Uh, so just few clicks but don't forget one more thing you need to make the some thickness of our mm, of your terrain if you not will do the some thickness so our analysis sometimes not working one more thing this is layers actually layers it's one of the powerful thing uh, in format it's working like in the exactly like in archicad it's working exactly like in the aftercut and sometimes it uh, seems like the work sets in revit so if you will go here to the uh, layers it's here the layers as you can see we can create a new one and let's rename it and we will call it like buildings because we have the buildings around right so this is will be buildings uh, and we have for example our buildings here as you can see here is now selection on non layer so we can change it to the buildings for example we change it and now we can easily switch it on or off for in our terrain for example i want to see this terrain and i want to see my buildings and also we can do the same things for for example with our uh, plane for example it will be surface why not it's let's change surface and now we can change, uh, select our surface and also place it exactly to the surface. And I know I want to see my surface right now, for example. Uh, let me will select it. I did mistake. I say it's surface. So. And one more time. And yeah, it's working as you can see. So we can switch it off all the things and leave it only our terrain. Or even we cannot see, we can just switch it on off our satellite and we can lock it, of course. If we need, we can lock it. And one more thing which is, will help you when you're starting working in format, this is the our levels. Levels, uh, as you can see here, we don't have now any levels, we can create the first one. And as you can see, level one, even calculating the square meters area and elevation. For example, our first level starting from the zero, but we can change it double click. For example, it's starting from the one meter because uh, let's say our ground floor it's just above on the one meter uh, below the ground uh, i mean the upper the ground floor and now we can add one more it automatically uh, changing the name level two and automatically giving 3.5 meters for the each level and now we can for example create five more levels 
at the levels as you can see here is the number of the levels as i said let at the five levels and distance between levels you can say uh, how many uh, uh, how much it will be for example i want to create the four meters and say okay and automatically it's creating our levels so you no need to now thinking about the levels because you can just easily change it or you can uh, renumber it if you have the, some problems with the number it will be automatically renumbered uh, of your levels As you can see, by these free, uh, simple steps, you already prepare your project, you already get, can start create your own building, I mean, the draw your building. And uh, also don't forget, the format it's not just uh, using the plugins and uh, create, sketching your building, it's also about the parametric, because here we have the Dynamo. If you will select, you will see the something we already have. This we will talk about uh, in about Dynamo in format. We will talk about it uh, in the next tutorial. But you should also know we have Dynamo in uh, in this uh, format too. So if you like this tutorial, if you want more uh, uh, tutorials about the format, just let me know below the video. Uh, just leave the comment, likes, and share this video. And by this way, I will understand you need more tutorials about the format. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.